When she was just a young girl, she would watch the blacksmith's fire. The hammer moving in his hand, his arm would never tire. She loved to watch the hammer fall, the metal bend and curl. She wanted so to be a smith, but she was just a girl. Her brothers, when they found her standing at the smithy's door, would laugh at her and tell her that's not what a maid is for. Her father, he would pick her up and spin her in a swirl. You cannot be a blacksmith, dear, because you are a girl. Then came a summer market where she met a tinker's band, a silversmith, a coppersmith, for blacksmiths so, so grand. They smiled at her and answered all the questions she could find, so she went back the next day to see if they'd still be kind. She watched them until lunchtime, then decided to be bold. She asked them if they'd teach a girl despite what she'd been told. They looked to one another and they nodded. One said, you come back tomorrow morning, but these three things you must do. Bring to me one bucket full of water, one of sand. Bring to me a pin of twisted wire made by your hand. Tell me how you made it bent and twisted it that way. Then I will put a hammer in your hand and let you play. And so she ran and found some wire from a farmer's fence. She bent and twisted it with pliers that cost her thirty pence. She brought both sand and water in the morning to their stall and showed her pin while fearing she would get nothing at all. The smiths, they gathered round the pin, they turned it to and fro. The silversmith, he smiled and said, it's from a fence, I know. She looked into his smiling face and felt her courage fall. But he said, I've seen coarser work sold in a jeweler's stall. The smiths, they all agreed that she should have a chance to try. She was so happy she had to work hard not to just cry. She took the hammer in her hand and listened while they taught. And at day's end she was amazed by all that she had wrought. And so the smiths gave her some tools, a hammer and some tongs, a bench top anvil and some pliers they knew it would not be long. Before her skill would be well known, yes, it would soon be clear to everyone, both far and wide, a lady smith lives here.